Now, what we're going to do is actually add the Google Analytics item within this game object. So make sure you have the UI manager script open and under mono behavior and the curly brace, press enter a couple times and write public Google Analytics v4 or v5 or so on, depending on which one you downloaded. And let's name it Google Analytics. And put a semicolon at the end. Save this. And then go back to Unity. Once you do that, make sure you select the UI manager within your hierarchy. And then within your UI manager script, you will see a new entry for Google Analytics. You guess it there? Now, this is the very important step. What you need to do is take the GAV4, the prefab, and drag and drop this inside of the Google Analytics. Very important step. If you do not do that, you will not be able to track this specific object. All right? And that's it. At this point, we can now um, track lots of different things from this uh, object. Now, what we just did, you have to repeat that for anything else that you'd like to track, okay? So if somehow there's a, the main character that you'd like to track or uh, the enemies, then you have to do something very similar, okay? Now, the beauty of using prefabs is that if you have an enemy, you can add this to your enemy and the enemy prefab and then any enemies that will spawn from the prefab will already be set up to be able to communicate with Google Analytics. So remember, you need to do that in the prefabs. All right.